Hey guys, Wayback Rewind here. Today I'm going to take a camcorder and turn it into a smart TV and then even a VCR. I'm going to use Sony's 2005 TRV380 Digital 8 camcorder. This camcorder records digitally but it also has analog inputs which allow me to convert it into a smart TV. Coming up next, here on Wayback Rewind. So you might wonder, why make a camcorder into a smart TV in the first place? Well, this is going to create a device that in my opinion doesn't exist anywhere in the market. A smart TV, camcorder, VCR is just a product that doesn't exist. This device will have some interesting capabilities that I will demonstrate to you later in the video. I'm using my TRV480 that I just bought. I had one originally that I bought in 2005, but it stopped working a while ago. And now this is a replacement. Okay, now I'm going to install a tape and do a quick test to make sure that this camcorder works. I'm going to need that later when I check it out as a VCR. Give myself a target. Let's play it back. And it's playing back normally. So I have a working camera. So now that I have demonstrated a working camera, what do I need to turn this into a smart TV? So this ATSC digital converter is much smaller than the ones I've used in the past. It has a five volt power supply, which I intend to use this cable and the standard USB. I intend to use this power supply, which you've seen me use before. Standard USB up here. I need an antenna. I've shown you that you can use anything for an antenna, including a wire hanger. But for this test, I'm gonna use this screw-on antenna. That's, this came with my Tyler TV. It's gonna be very convenient. Free over-the-air TV with just what you see here. Not quite. There's one thing I need additional to turn this into a TV. I need to connect this to that. That, I'm gonna use this AV cable to go from here into the camera. If I want to turn it into a smart TV, I need a few other things. Number one, number one, I would need my fire stick. The fire stick is gonna plug in here with the old school USB, and it's gonna need five volts, which I already have over here. So the fire stick, and I need one more thing. The output of the fire stick is HDMI. There's no HDMI input on this camera. No camera has an HDMI input be honest with you they have HDMI outputs so to get an HDMI input I'm gonna need something else okay the final piece that I need to make this camcorder into a smart TV is I need my HDMI to AV converter the fire stick will plug in there the out is RCA cables I've got the gender changers on here because these will not plug directly into the camera to plug into here and then 3.5 millimeter will plug in there and instant smart TV. Icing is I have a remote for free over the air TV and I have a remote for the fire stick. So everything you see here will turn this into a free over the air TV and a smart TV as long as I have a hotspot or Wi-Fi for the for the fire stick and all of this together will turn this into a VCR capable of recording free over the air TV and Fire Stick programs. If you're an Amazon Prime subscriber, any movie, any TV show that you're allowed to see on Amazon, you can record it here to the tape digitally. I'm sure that the MPAA is going to be all upset about that, but I call it the analog loophole because by converting this first to analog and then going into here into this port there is no technology currently employed that will block analog recordings 
Okay, so let's get started. Just to tell you that I have not done this before with this particular camera, with any particular camera. Practically anything with a screen and video inputs can be converted into a free over the air TV and a smart TV. Now in the past, I did this in two separate videos, but I'm gonna give you a two for one special here and show you how to do both. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is mount the antenna. Now we have a nice antenna, very geeky, but cool. We hook up the power. Power goes in here, five volts. We hook up the AV wires next. This is my first time doing this, so I've never used this converter before. AV wires go in there. This can't go in there. I need the AV wires that go to this camera, along with my gender changers. So. A little short on gender changers so let's put those on there I'm gonna need a third one for the video this is why I do this live so you can see the problems that I'm gonna encounter real time so I can chase down all the wires that I need I'm gonna plug this in here I plug these in here I'm gonna look for another gender changer for the, for the video. And of course, I had to stop the tape while I looked for my gender changers. And of course, it was in the last place I looked. But I have a whole bag full of them here. Never seem to have enough of these. I think I could buy 100 of them, and I would need 101. Add this to this. Now, the only thing left is to plug this in to the power supply. We have power. Let's see what we got. Turn the camera on. And voila. Hard to see. Still hard to see. Installation guide. This is gonna be a two inch television with a 20 year old display. So it's gonna be hard to see, but you can see it. So I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't hold this up to the lens and see it at the same time. So I'm gonna set it up and then I'll come back once it's set up. But before I can set this up, I need to install some batteries in the remote because without that, I can't really set it up and then we'll be ready to go. And I need one other thing out of the box. For some reason, they did not include an IR receiver into the base of this unit. So I need to add that. And that plugs into this through this little IR connector on here with the old school USB plug. So I'm gonna set this back up over here now the IR, that's interesting. Let's see if this is working, first of all. It is working. The installation guide is going. It turns out, other than the time, there really wasn't anything that I needed to set on this. So now I'm about to do a channel search and see how many channels I can find. It is finding some channels. It's good news. About halfway through, it's found a bunch of channels. It finally dawned on me I could set this camera down and zoom in on it. We could both see it that way. Sometimes I wish I did rehearse this. And there you have it. Live TV on my camcorder. Turn the volume up. If I can remember where volume is. Just so you 
can be 100% sure that is television, live television coming over my camcorder. I'm not sure what the infrared, is that showing the channel number? I think it is. If so, that's really cool. So I'm going to change the channel see what happens. That is the channel number. How cool is that? Wow. I am so impressed. Not sure how many channels I have, but typically I can pick up 130 broadcast channels here in Houston. Why don't we just see how many we got? There's supposed to be a tropical storm hitting Houston tomorrow. Now I have a portable TV, 100% portable TV that I can tune in and watch the storm, even if there's no power. This camera can go for, what, 215 minutes? That's over three hours? Plus, I have several of these batteries. Let's keep going. Let's see how high we can go. 51 is one of my favorite channels. Land of the Giants. How oh, cool. They're always getting stuck in little cages. Yeah, what, what did we get to? 107. I didn't quite get to the 130 that I was expecting, but I got 107 channels. Not bad at all. So the one thing about the TRV 480 that I don't like, it has no coal shoe whatsoever. So in order to mount all of this up and make it convenient. I've got a handle here, like three coal shoes on here. Now none of this gear has a coal shoe to mount to, but at least gives me some mounting surface. So I'm going to clean this up and show you how this can be a totally portable TV. Okay, I now have it where I neatened it up, where it's now totally portable. It looks like an incredible rig. But it is neaten up. It is a totally portable TV. See what we're watching the spiraling rain bands. The heavy stuff still offshore around South Texas to get to northern Texas. That's where the rain is already coming. In fact, we've got one tornado war storm for Louisiana. You can see it right here. That's for either. Okay, so we are under hurricane watch here in Houston. Hurricane Barrel is coming into town. I've got my Tyler over here. So I do already own a portable TV. Portable TVs have become kind of rare, but I do own a portable TV. So you might say, why do I need to make a camcorder into a portable TV? But first thing that happens in a hurricane, power goes out. Your battery operated TV works for like maybe an hour or two. I've got Gin ginormous batteries here on this camcorder. I have several hours more than I could watch the hurricane approach, get emergency alerts. There's all sorts of reasons why having an extra portable TV with a large battery is a good thing. So I promised that I'd show you how this could also be a VCR. It's actually very easy. All I have to do is turn the display back on, hit playback menu, record control, and record start. Tape spools up. I'm now recording this. So remember it said tracking barrel. Hey, Britta came back to Houston just to report on this. Awesome. Here in Surfside Beach, Texas, we are under a hurricane warning and a storm surge warning. Well, I don't know why the hurricanes always hit at night. That sounds ridiculous, but it's, it seems like it's always true. I don't know why they always come ashore at night. All right, let's just show that this has recorded. I'm going to hit stop. Rewind. Is here setting up a network of cameras so we can get that ground truth. Play. Tracking barrel. So not only is this a television capable of picking up live television, it is also a VCR. 
it's not only a VCR, it is a digital VCR. I have a digital copy of what I just saw that I can output to the computer completely lossless. Okay, now to completely pay off the tease, I'm going to make this camcorder into a smart TV. That requires me to add my streaming device and my HDMI to AV converter to my already assembled rig. I could remove all of the standard TV gear, but I'm gonna leave it all up here. I could install an AB switch and go back and forth between the two quickly. But for now, I'm just going to install this device. So to make room on my rig, okay, I'm gonna mount this holder into this cold shoe that I have left available. Tighten it up. I need a spacer here or something. I've got two power cables that I need to connect. Power cable one. Power cable two. I'm gonna plug this in. This one needs to plug in here. This one needs to plug in here. Now we need to plug in my video cable. I wish I had that AB switch that I mentioned. I can't tell what I'm looking at here. Got too many wires. Hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, full disclosure, for some reason, that I can't quite understand. This HDMI to TV converter that I was trying to use initially could not get it to work with this camera. Don't know why exactly, but as you would expect, I called in the backup. This HDMI to AV converter is working perfectly. I'm getting barcodes, which means it's, it's outputting to the camera correctly. Before I go any further and tidying up my wiring, which is a mess, I'm going to plug in the fire stick and see what happens. You're gonna see it in real time. And the fire TV is booting up. I honestly don't know why it didn't work the first time, but it is now working correctly. So there you have it, with the smart TV camcorder. And I confess, it is a wiring nightmare. I left the TV tuner on here, which is not currently connected. The wires are just loose. If I had room for an AB switch, I would use that. The HDMI to AV converter is here. The fire stick is here. These are both getting power from the USB. They're feeding into the camera input. Just to prove that this is any movie that I currently own or have rights to view, I can watch on this setup. So now, anything that I have on Amazon that I'm able to watch, including this movie that I purchased, I can now display on this setup. And as promised before, all I have to do is go to the playback menu Record control, record start, and now I'm recording this movie. Remind you that I paid for this movie. It's my right to make a backup copy, but I now can make a physical backup copy on digital tape. I hit stop. Go back to the playback menu. Just to prove that I actually recorded that. Now you can see where I actually recorded that. And so there you have it. The camcorder that became a TV and even a smart TV and a VCR. 
If you found this interesting, please like or subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.